Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And this is all you're gonna see of me in this video because Charles is taking over the channel to show you his brand new MEL science kit that he got today. Um, he's really excited to learn all about magnets and to show you how to do one of the experiments. And if you want to get an MEL science kit just like this one, this is a STEM kit, uh, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths then you can use my link in the description and you can get one too. Uh, there's even some codes for money off right now, so I will put those in the description too. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Your support means the world. And I'll hand over to Charles now. Bye. Mine. Slide it out. I got all the stuffs and it's uh oh wait is there something oh wait no it's magnet so I got this stuffs and with this science stuff and or something I think it's science maybe it's not but it's magnetic levitation this is what it look like at the end so it's gonna be cool what's this okay that's something and um, what's this that these are these are all the instructions so you can choose which one you do first oh okay let's do the first one first zero gravity no strings attached Mm. So this is all it, so I'm just going to build all these. So you've got all the instructions and everything you're going to need, right? Yeah, see? All the stuffs. Okay, so what do I need first? Each magnet features two opposite sides. They are already marked, blue and red, on one of the magnets. The rest need to be labelled the same way. Okay. Open bag of magnets. Of course. This is like a propeller, like a helicopter. It's really hard to use, really hard to use. <laughs> a tube! Because this is really cool. <laughs> yes! Now I got the magnets. But the, it's meant to be labelled blue and um, red, but that's red and red. Is there any others that have got blue on them? I found these. Ah. Oh, some. Um, I don't know. I don't Just know. Why. them away from the laptop. Oh. Why that one has two red bits on? Why does it have two red bits? So how does it? It's meant to have a red bit and then a blue bit. 
Maybe you're supposed to put them on yourself. But what about that one? I'm sure there's a reason for it being red and red. Yeah. So... Does it say which way to label? Which, one, which side uh, should be red and which side should be blue? Okay. So, hang on. I'll put these. So if we have this, take off this one. Put one on top. Put the red sticker on there. Take off. Okay. So red and red aren't going to stick together, are they? Because it's north and south, yeah? Yeah, so I do take off that, then take put that one on there, and then I put... That's it. A red sticker on there. Like that. Okie dokie. Then I put... Repeat for each magnet, so I just have to do that a bunch of times. Um... I don't think you can see. Hang on. Yeah, I'll move the camera for you. Can you see it? Uh, not on the floor. You have to hold it up. That's okay. Yeah. So I've got to put the stickers on. Lots of stickers, lots of stickers. Stick all the stickers on. Lots of stickers, lots of stickers. Stick all the stickers on. Um. Now. This one doesn't have one. Isn't? Oh, there's the red one. Here we go. Now turn over and put a blue on the bottom of each, but this one doesn't have a blue one. So maybe don't worry about that one right now. It shows, but look, it shows that that one has. So it shows that that one has red. This shows that the one of them's meant to be labelled with red and blue. Well, that's like this is the meant to be. Maybe one. it's just a mistake. Yeah. So I do this. So let's now turn it over. Put this and then put it there. There. So I put blue sticker on that. Blue and red stick together. Blue and blue don't stick. So, I now I have two completed ones, if you see. Blue and red stick together. Blue and blue go away from each other, and red and red go away from each other. So it has to be red, like red, blue, red, blue, or blue, red, blue, red. And then when we've done this first one, we can do the number two, number two book. Hmm. This is the last one. done they all have red and blue except for this one it makes my brain 
not good. Makes you annoyed. Yeah. Autism says no. I'm gonna put these in the bin. That's a good idea. I like magnets. Now we're gonna do it. So now I have this tower of magnetic magneticness. There's buildy stuff to do. Buildy building. I like building. I always build stuff in Minecraft. To put that in there. And then I have to put that on there. But then I have to put that that way. Ooh. It's floating. Oh! <laughs> it was too much power. It's tilting. It's tilting. Hang on, I got. Okay, there we go, that's good now. It's, it's float. They're floating. They're floating. Oh no, stop. Whoa. <gasps> it's a bit wobbly. Look at floating. Does it explain why that's happening? Let's see on the back. Oh, um. oh, look. The small black rings from the set are magnets. They interact with other magnets. Certain. with other magnets. Certain metals and their compounds and alloys. <coughs> Magnets have two poles, north and south. These poles are what you mark with red and blue stickers at the beginning of the experiment. If you cut a magnet in half, you'll create two magnets, each with its own north and south poles. Magnets are attracted to each other if their opposite poles are facing one another. N like N on so I like I can show that so blue and red are opposites so they stick together but they repel each other if the same poles are facing one another if like blue and blue or red and red so if we keep so that's how it works if we keep putting them so the faces are putting against each other because the pipe this pipe keeps them in place but they're they float oh no it was too much, but there's still one last bit we have to do in the building. But when you bring the magnets closer to each other, their attraction or repulsion strength strengthens. And when you separate them, it weakens. The magnets attract each other so strongly that they can even pinch your finger. Yeah, 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 look at this. Let me, whoa, very wobbly. I'll move that out the way. For just one second. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna lie it down for a second. So you see, if I put look at this. Nope. <laughs> Wait, I know. Um look. It's from my t-shirt. Oh yeah. But you can even pinch your finger. So if I can get it to balance just right. <gasps> you did it! That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to be together, don't they? They're right, in so love. what's next? There's another instruction on the back. They're in love. That's what it is. Um okay. now what? Um okay. I have to put these together again like that. So another set of those. Put it in there. Okay. But also, there's the stand. So now it's not wobbly. Ah, there you go. I can't put it in. 
I can't put it in. Would you like some help? Mm-hmm. But in this experiment, the magnets, the magnets, like poles, are facing one another, which causes each magnet to repel the next. This repulsion is so strong that the magnets seem suspended in mid-air. You can feel this repulsive force when press by pressing down on a magnet with your finger. Whoa! Once you release the magnets, <laughs> once you release the magnet, did it say whoa in there, yeah. or was that just you? <laughs> once you release the magnet, it returns to its original position. I won. Boing, boing, <laughs> boing. Boing, boing, boing. I approve. Boing, <laughs> boing, boing, boing. You hear that, boing, YouTube boing, friends? Boing, this boing, ML boing, science kit boing, is approved boing, by eleven-year-old Charles. Boing, boing. Go and get one. Link in do description. I need to unbuild it. Okay, so oopsie. So, what would you like to say to um, ML Science for sending us this kit? Thank you. This is good. How, how many marks out of 10 do you give it? 10. 10. 10 out of 10. Wait, actually, 9 because... Because of that. So only because that there's, there's a little whatever that is. Yeah. And it makes your brain hurt. Brain. But if that was blue, would it be 10 out of 10? Yeah. Did you think that our friends on YouTube should go and subscribe to MEL Science right now? Yeah. Should they use our link in the description? Yeah. Are you going to go build another kit? Yeah. Can you say bye? Bye. What else do we need to say to our friends? If you liked the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Say bye. Bye.